All right. Um, I want to end up this discussion of energy stored on the capacitor with um, one last way of um, sort of accounting. So right now, even with this, these are all based on charges, right? We might have been using voltage, or we might not have been, but all these accounting were based on charges. And you know what we said here is that um, we have we have some amount of charge at some voltage, and that's why there's energy. What I want to mention to you is that there's actually second, a totally different way of counting up energy in an electromagnetic situation. And um, I want to introduce this to you in the context of a capacitor, so that I can recall back to this when we do magnetism uh, after your exam too. <laughs> so, uh, um, so let me just bring this up as a, just a weird way of counting energy. So this is how I'm going to decide to count energy here. Um, so I'm actually going to ignore all the charges that I see here. Instead, what I'm going to look at as an interesting thing happening regarding electrostatics in this space is not the charge that's here. It's uh, actually the electric field that seems to be set up in this space. Electric field that seems to be set up in this space. And what I'm going to go further and say is, you know what, I don't really care about anything else that's here. I'm just not going to worry about it. What is interesting to me is that there seems to be this region of space with some amount of electric field in that region. So that would be this region here. There's a region of this electric field space with a non-zero electric field, E0. And outside of this region, electric field is zero. And what I want to say is that the energy density out here is zero. Sort of consistent with nothing interesting happening here. And I want to say that in here is where something interesting is happening. There is a non-zero energy density that's happening in the region with the electric field that here the energy density is not equal to zero. So um, it's a kind of weird way to look at it. But when we get to magnetism, you will see the utility of looking at things this way. Because, yeah, so, but let me, for right now, let me just introduce the, I'll drive the expression and then just uh, uh, leave it there. So the expression I want to drive is the expression for the energy density of electric field. And um, what's the symbol we use? Oh, I think the symbol we use is, don't ask me why, lowercase u. It's kind of based on a common symbol for potential energy is actually capital U which I don't use because I think people would find this easier. But with this, I have to kind of use the symbol that other people are using. So this lowercase u is the energy density. Let me just drive an expression for that. So what I am going to do is I am going to just write down an expression for energy that's here. And I guess I have to divide it by volume. So what this energy density will be, it's the total potential energy divided by volume. And I want to uh, express this only in terms of electrical quantities. So, so well, in this capacitor, or you know, before I erased all the charges, what used to be capacitor, um, how much energy was stored in it? I think we wrote down several different expressions. Let's just copy down one of them, and then we'll just use that as a starting point. Hmm? Oh, sorry, someone was saying something. Oh, so somebody tell me one of the expressions we wrote down for, so for the energy density, I want to say that's the potential energy divided by volume. So somebody tell me an expression for the potential energy stored in the capacitor that we were talking about just now. Uh, capacity times uh, voltage. Yeah. One half capacitance, <laughs> capacitance times the voltage squared. All right, that's one. Uh, so I want to divide it by the amount of volume eventually. 
So my goal here, this is you know, a complicated expression, right? And I want to reduce this down to a point where um, the only quantities on this side are electrical quantities. Preferably, I would want nothing but electric field and maybe constant. Because here, my goal is to express how much energy is being stored in the electric field. I don't want any reference to charges. I don't want any other references like that. So, you know, I have this expression, and let me just go through the uh, steps to turn this into something that depends on nothing but electric field and constant. So, oh, I have this voltage here. Um, uh, let's see. Let me start by getting rid of the capacitance. That's one of the expressions I have not yet erased. So I can use this to get rid of the capacitance of the setup. So let me, uh, and volume, let me write down an expression for volume. How much volume is it, do you think, in, in this space? Like, what's the expression for volume here? Like, what are the geometric parameters you were given before? Hmm? Yeah, area times distance. Area of the plate times the distance between them. That's the, how much volume is enclosed between. OK, so let me write that down. So 1 half times the capacitance epsilon naught A um, over D, that's the capacitance C, times 1 over volume. So that's 1 over area times D times uh, V naught squared. All right, it's actually beginning to look promising, right? Because you see some of the things cancel out right away. Uh, well, some things don't cancel. Areas canceled, but distance is still canceling. I get distance times distance. So, all right, that just ends up being something like one half epsilon naught times. Um, so, oh, let me group them together. V naught squared divided by d squared. What do you think this is equal to? V naught over d. Crystal? What's a V naught over D equal to? I thought you were saying something. So voltage divided by the distance over which you measure the voltage difference. Electric field, right? So looking at this uh, definition here, that's how voltage and electric field are related. So I can say V naught over D is the E, electric field. So this expression turns into one half epsilon naught electric field squared. And we'll come back to this later in the semester, but this is the expression for the energy density of a, a stored in a region of electric field. Um, so this is one way to drive it, um, using this capacitor example. And this is one of the fundamental um, real, uh, property of electric field, that whenever you have an electric field, it what, what, I guess what this means is that must have involved arranging some charges in such a way that those charges uh, were you know, storing this kind of potential energy. But what this expression is telling you is that you don't, have, you don't actually have to look for the charges. Like, so you kind of trust the charges are there, but once you have a regional space with the electric field, then you can skip to this right away without going through the description of what kind of charges do I need to get that electric field. So, you know, in our upper division class, we would uh, spend a lot of time to using this, but I realized the teaching this last semester that you don't have that kind of time in a lower division class. So <laughs> I won't do that. 